Hello my beautiful Aries. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying and I'll be doing a reading today. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Go ahead and hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. Let's get right into this. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Angels, I need an overall energy for my beautiful Aries. Okay, overall energy. Mm -hmm. They're kind of fighting me today. Okay. <laughs> One more for Aries, please. Okay. <laughs> wow, Aries. Your first card out is marriage. <laughs> okay, the two of cups are on the board. You might be tying the knot before the year is over, okay? That's in like 30 days or so. <laughs> or you might be eloping. You might be getting engaged. You might be married already. But this is a union coming together. Or marriage is like at the forefront. It's on your mind. It's all you can think about at this point. You, you might be proposing on Christmas, you know? We'll see. Let's see, marriage. You are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Ooh, that's what you're pulling in, okay? That's what you want to attract. Like I said, that's heavy on your mind right now. So, And then the owl card came out. So the owl represents longevity. It represents wisdom. I think that you, you're looking for a marriage that goes the distance or this is a person you've been involved with for a really long time. But we'll see. The owl. There are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transition. Okay, Aries. You might be going from the single life to the married life. Okay, and the owl is a spirit animal. So <laughs> this is a divinely guided union. Let's start doing a little channeling with the kipper and then we're gonna get into the tarot, okay? Woo, main man wanted to come out, main male. Mm. Aries, that might be you with a number one here, okay? <laughs> I could be speaking with a masculine energy or masculine energy has tuned into my channel. <laughs> okay, let's do a little channeling here. Okay. Something's about to go down, Aries. Something's about to go down. <laughs> I'm feeling very passionate. Okay, like, like, um, what do you like anxious almost okay like there's a little anxiousness in the air but I'm feeling like excitement I'm feeling fun I'm feeling like ace of wands energy okay something during the daytime like the daytime hours Something's going to go down during the daytime hours. I don't know if that's the proposal that's coming in during the day or, <laughs> but something's about to go down. Uh, let's see. I feel like you're going to have an encounter with somebody from your past. And when you encounter them, you're going to have to do like a double take because they don't look like the person that you remembered, whether it's a good or thing or a bad thing. They just, you can tell that there's been like a, there's like a physical change. <laughs> this wanted to force its way out community. Okay. You might be, you might be meeting this person in the town you live in or this person lives in your town or I know I just said something about someone from your past. OK, and this this card really wanted to force its way out and flip. OK, so 
you might be spending time with friends and family and somebody there that you haven't seen for a while is going to be there and you're going to notice that there's been like a really drastic uh, physical change in them. Aries, maybe the this like total, I'm feeling like a body transformation is happening because they knew you were going to be at this place and either they're trying to glow up to make you mad or make you jealous or they did this whole body um, transformation thing to get your attention, okay? So... <laughs> We'll see. I'm, I'm feeling this lucky excitement energy. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling excitement. I'm feeling like lucky excitement times ahead. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Thoughts here. So I knew it. Someone is heavily on your mind, Aries, or vice versa. Okay. This could be that person from your past or... You know, as the portrait is in back of him, or this is your crush, Aries, and you can't get them off your mind, or vice versa. Whatever you do, they're there, okay? You could be <laughs> drinking a chocolate shake, and here comes this person on your mind, okay? Oh, that person loved chocolate shake, okay? So, um, but... This person knows you, Aries. They've studied you. Like, you know, I usually say with this card, this person is heavily on this person's mind because they painted this person by just the thought of them. They don't have any portraits or pictures to go by. It's simply what's in their mind. So, and he created a masterpiece. Do you see? It's very detailed, this woman in that picture. So he has his eye on this person. And we have unexpected income. So you could be getting an, a pay increase or um, a gift exchange. Like I said, the holidays, uh, Christmas holiday anyways, is, you know, right around the corner. So maybe you're going to be receiving some really good gifts this year, Aries. Or you're planning on gifting somebody, okay? So, okay, then this card snuck out in back of it, but I don't know if I want to take it. It is message of concern. Um, you might be a little worried about something. If you're getting married, yeah, you know, that proposal. <laughs> if you're considering proposing, it's going to make you a little nervous. All right, let's get into the tarot. Obviously, there's love here, okay? This could be a love message at the end of it all, I'm feeling. <laughs> Somebody really loves what you do for work, Aries. Somehow, you're being recognized at work. And you're being recognized. <laughs> The Ace of Swords came out. You're recognized for being like the best, okay? And a truth which is spoken here. So, and I'm feeling like a really happy, good conversation happening for you with this dub of peace in the background. And I feel like once whatever this conversation has had, it's going to really um, maybe take you out of this concern energy and make you feel more at peace like you finally said your peace okay and i feel like you're getting fired up okay and i feel like look at the moon is here i feel like um i'm feeling like you're getting fired up like you're getting ready to do something like like only an Aries can do. Like the fire signs, when they get fired up, 
watch out. <laughs> okay, and then we have the moon card. So this is a secret. This is a secret twin flame union, actually. Aries, you're dreaming about this person or this person is dreaming about you. But no one said anything. I don't even know if you know this person cares about you this much. Or vice versa, okay? I feel like this is going to be like a surprise to both of you or something. <laughs> okay. I'm also with this card, I'm feeling like somebody's driving you crazy, Aries, okay? Or you're driving this person crazy. <laughs> hey. You might be encountering some energy, an emotional vampire type energy. Just be mindful. If you're feeling that, make sure like you have some sage with you and you sage yourself off after encountering these people, okay? Because I feel like they're trying to like latch onto your energy. All right, the magician wanted to come out. And the sun, these are really sneaky cards, okay? So it, they're coming out looking like it's one card jumping out. But when I pick them up, there's another one behind. And this has happened three times right now. So we have the magician, you know, number one. That's again the Aries. <laughs> so you're manifesting right now. You're manifesting something big time I'm feeling with the Sun card here oh wait a minute now we have divine counterparts on the board a masculine and a feminine and here's the twin flames Aries and I'm saying Aries because the magician is number one and you guys are number one on the zodiac and here's another number one, okay? Aries, you have a trick up your sleeve. <laughs> and I feel when this trick is revealed, people are gonna go nuts, okay? <laughs> You're really trying to conceal this. Oh my God. <laughs> You're really trying to conceal this, Aries, or this person is trying to conceal this about you. It's just like I'm feeling it's on its way, but it's not the right time right now. But it's the Ace of Cups. It's the cups. <laughs> it's the cup of love. So now we have two aces on the board. Once someone speaks their truth, or you guys speak your both of you have your say. Out comes the bird of peace. I'm feeling like relief. And then I'm feeling like a mutual connection. <laughs> Super cute. Aw. I have an Aries that's in love and that's going to speak their truth. And I'm feeling the world card might come out. So it might be before the year is out. And like I said... It's like within 30 days or so, okay? <laughs> so, damn, Aries, okay. I'm, I'm feeling love confession. I'm, uh, I'm feeling uh, somebody ignored you or put you on the back burner or made you a bench warmer, Aries, or something like that, or you did this to somebody. And it could have cost you or them. Here's the star card. It's the wish card. Wow. I just feel like something really special and magical is about to happen for the Aries. I feel like everything that you've been hoping and wishing for is, is manifesting. 
is somebody, I mean, it's going to make you extremely happy, but I also feel like it's going to attract a lot of evil eye too, okay? <laughs> but there's just like so much celebration that's going to be happening. This is like pure happiness. This is dancing, you know, joyfully, like really getting down and dirty, okay? <laughs> Having lots of fun. All right. I'm hearing best day ever. <laughs> All right, more for the Aries. Tell me about this person for Aries. Oh my God. Okay, so something's traveling towards you, Aries, or you're traveling towards something. This is the eight arrows of love. Okay, this is something that is set in motion currently in this time frame. Okay, so something is definitely moving. And I feel like you're moving towards your happiness or something or a place that's going to make you very happy. You could be going on vacation. The sun card here, but I'm just feeling so much happiness. And you could be like traveling to some place where it's like really lush and green and beautiful. Okay, you might be coming across like a lot of farmland. There's like little sheep in here in the pasture. But whatever you're doing, you're like moving fast. And I believe it's you, Aries, because these are wands. Okay, and the fire signs rule the wands. This is happening super quick and out of nowhere. What did I say? The world card. <laughs> Before the year is over, Aries, you're going to get a proposal. You're going to get a love offer. I know at the very beginning I said something is about to go down. Okay, so <laughs> this is big time energy. The sun and the moon are on the board, the ace of cups, the ace of swords, the star card. Something big is about to go down. I'm getting chills running down my arms. Like <laughs> There's a big time surprise coming for you, Aries, and it's happening before the year is out and I when I say with a quickness, I mean with a quickness. This could happen within like eight hours, eight days. I can't say eight weeks because that would be like, you know, two months. It's not, That's too long. This is happening like within like a week or so, week or two. But look how exciting this person is on this card. And okay. Three aces. This is the ace of wands in the back. <laughs> 2024, the Aries is going to rule 2024. We got all sorts of brand new energy here. Brand new exciting times ahead. Lots of love. Lots of happiness. And it's just a brand new life. A brand new beginning for you. And it's going to be different because you're going to have a person with you on your journey this time. Okay. So, you know, you closed out past chapters, you know, you've been there, you've done that. You, you did what you had to do to succeed and overcome the situations. Now you're on to your next leg of your journey. And I believe that marriage was on the forefront of your mind. And that's exactly what you're going after. So this next chapter, you're not going to do it alone, Aries. You're going to have someone with you. All right. I'm going to leave it there. This is beautiful. <laughs> Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because it lets you know every time I upload. Okay. And it is super cold where I'm at. So that's why I'm in my big fuzzy red sweater. Okay. <laughs> So stay warm, guys, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.